Thanks, Ebony. I guess uh, my question about the if they say no is opening a negotiation at all. If uh, if you're asking for something and they decline, does that then damage the relationship? Because in the back of their mind, they're going, oh, see, she's not going to be happy with whatever we're sticking her with. or You know what I mean? So is there something in the back of the mind that makes them mistrust, I guess? Um, it's It goes back to how you approach it, which is so important because the same words can come off very differently if the tone is different. Um, and that's one reason why I would encourage you to say, uh, come again from that, that perspective of unintentionality. You know, it's not that, you know, um, I'm not happy. It's not that I don't wanna be here. As a matter of fact, I love working here. I wanna be here. And um, it's just that I noticed that based on my increased work duties, based on the credentials that I've had, based on you know the extra work that I've taken, it seems like my pay doesn't align with my duties anymore. And I just like to explore it with you if that's all right. Um, can we talk about it? Um, and then go from there. And if they say, well, no, I know that you've been doing more work um, and that we've given you more stuff, but we're not willing to pay you anymore. And, you know, then, you you know, do you want to be doing more work and not be getting paid? You know, if they really are an ethical employer, they will probably want to have the discussion with you, you know, and if they really um, are just completely against it, then to me, that's an indicator that they're probably not the best employer to be working for, that they're doing you a favor by uh, being honest with who they are. And so maybe you can find a place that will pay you your value for the extra work you've been given. Does that make sense? That's a great, yeah, that's a great segue into Adam's question. I'm curious to, to see how you answer his. All right. Let's see.